Hi, my name is Chris Laurie and I'm one of the owners of Fit360. I'm really pleased to announce the release of version 4 of both FitFoot360 and FitPrint360. This new version contains a whole raft of technologies that are available for both additive and subtractive manufacturing methods. This is important because as our customers move towards additive methods, they still have to consider the capital equipment they have for subtractive. And in some cases, subtractive manufacturing may still be the best option available. So we need to consider both. One of the examples of a new feature in version 4 is the addition of blended posts. This benefits both additive and subtractive manufacturers because we can add the blended post to a machined part so that we can get faster machining, less deceleration and acceleration going on there, and also we can reduce the weight and the speed of printing in a 3D printed part as well by having these blended posts. We've also added rapid workflows into the software that allow our users to take an existing store prescription and run it without scan data. So for some functional devices, they simply select their store prescription and run it to the end to create a device using graded values really quickly indeed. Fantastic for both additive and subtractive users. Also, we've considered the idea of TPU and soft materials. This is an emerging area of 3D printing where price performance is still very much up for grabs. No one quite knows actually where this is going to go. So we decided to cover all bases. We've developed tools for FDM, so we're able now to create zones in here and transfer those zones out as solids into slices to be able to be used as density zones in the FDM FFF process. Using great materials like Colorfab, one of the people we work with, you can produce really good results uh, at a very good price performance. But equally, people are interested in what they can do with both powder and resin materials. So one of the major changes in version 4 is the addition of lattice structures for variational geometry. This will enable people to create transitional stiffness through the part to create clinical devices that perhaps in the past were not possible. Now this is an emerging area, so by adding it to our software, we're creating an environment for people to explore and try out these ideas. By adding new tools such as new style files, new super high UCBL products, new malleoli level products, by adding patterns and new stiffening tools in there, we are increasing the spectrum of the products that can be made by the software by additive and subtractive methods. So if you're an existing user of Fit360, you're going to get a lot of gains from version four. And if you've never seen us before, contact us and we can show you what we can do.